Hey everyone, it is Monday morning's devotional and we're doing 50 days of prayer. And today I have a very powerful verse for you, just one verse to read. So it's pretty easy, but yet it's powerful. It's Jeremiah 33, three. I remember so often my dad would tell me that's God's phone number, J-E-R 333, Jeremiah 333. And here's why. In Jeremiah 33, 3, it says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. God's phone number. God says, you can call me and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you don't know. Isn't that powerful that we can go to God and, and we can call on him at any time and he answers. He always picks up the phone. He always has time for us. And so, we wanna call on the Lord today and pray to him because there's so many great and unsearchable things that we need to know that we can't know without God. The only way we can know them is by praying and seeking God and getting to know him. And so Jeremiah, the prophet is in prison here and God speaks to him this, call to me and I will answer you and I'll tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. And so, he was in the prison and God speaks to him. And then God begins to open up these amazing things that he's gonna do in the future. And I really believe that the Bible is not a book about the past. Yes, it has so many past events in it that truly happened, but the Bible is really all about our present lives today and the future because God knows what's in store for us. And God knows the future, he's already there. He's not limited by time and space. He's in the past, present and future all at the same time. And so God's already there and he knows. And so he wants us to know more about the future. Um, and he wants us to seek him for wisdom so that we can make good decisions and pre be prepared for the future. Now, none of us know what the future holds. We know who holds the future, Jesus Christ, but he wants to reveal certain things to us. Um, just like when, uh, or before the pandemic started, as Chris was spending time with the Lord and really seeking the Lord, and, and she watched some news reports from Wuhan, China, and it was you know in December and early January, and as she saw those reports, she just said, Carrie, after praying a lot, I just feel like that the pandemic is coming here and we need to be prepared. And we need to go ahead and get a lot of equipment so that we can have um, people go out and serve people and do the things they need to do. And so we got all this PPE equipment that we're able to give out. And uh, when the pandemic hit here in March, um, and, and then also she said, I just really believe we need to be prepared for to do church online for a little while because you know we may have to do that. We may be you know asked to do that and mandated to do that. And so. Uh, we need to make sure we have all the bandwidth ready. And as she was praying, and, and you know, she doesn't do that all the time, but it was just, she said, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like that this is coming here and it's gonna be pretty big and um, we need to be prepared for it. And so in that sense, uh, we did, we prepared and we were ready and had the bandwidth ready for the online as thousands of more people begin to connect online. And, and, and that's just one example of how God can, prepare you for the future. You know, he doesn't reveal to us all about what's gonna happen tomorrow because he wants us to focus on today, to live one day at a time, but yet he will begin to prepare us for tomorrow. And so call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. And so we need to call to the Lord and pray to the Lord and say, God, tell me those great and unsearchable things that I don't know. I need you to teach me. I need you to teach me your ways. I need you to show me, um, be my wisdom in making decisions. I, I need you, God, to tell me what you wanna tell me. And I really encourage you this week to pray that prayer, Jeremiah 333, Jeremiah 333, God's phone number, J-E-R 333, and call to the Lord every day this week, write down some prayer requests, and ask him to give you some wisdom about what's coming up in your life. Um, ask him to help you be prepared for that next step, uh, that next level that he wants to take you to in your life. And God will give you wisdom. He will guide you each step of the way. He'll tell you things that no one else can tell you, that only he knows. He loves to 
share with his children those secrets that only he knows that guide us and, and propel us into the future. God bless you. I'm praying for you. I hope you're writing down some prayer requests and we'd love to hear answers to prayer. We, we've seen many miracles happening during this time as we've been praying and we're gonna keep praying. And I'm so glad that we can call God. So pick up that prayer phone and call the Lord right now and pray to him about what's going on in your life and ask him to share with you great and unsearchable things that you couldn't know. God bless you.